Hello, good afternoon. Sorry for the delayed start. I have a little bit difficulty with my computer. I, today I'm doing it on my um, phone, smartphone, so I cannot add any com. Well, I think I could, but if Melissa, if you're watching this, can you add the disclaimer into the description, uh, com comment section, please? And thank you. <sighs> It's like, I can't, I have a two laptop. One laptop is not doing anything. And then it's like, okay, fine. Then I open the next one, but it's doing the same thing. And then camera issue. So I had to do the updates, but okay. Whew, we're good. It's in live. It's going. So we will get started. So today's session is total body uh, circuit. And we have uh, three sections and each section is, first one is a longer section and as you go, through the blocks, then your duration is going to get shorter. Uh, since this is a total body circuit, uh, you need to have some kind of weight, like a backpack of weight, and the chair or bench for the tricep dip, and then towel, anything that's long enough to reach from your toes and then to your hand. Um, so those are the equipment that you need. Yoga mat, if you... Um, we are going to do some push-ups on the floor, so if you want to have... A, mats or towel for your knee that would be a good idea to have um other than that that's the equipment you need for today and we will get started um as always for music play, please play please play your own music if you want my side i will not play anything but it's your choice to play and so let's start with the dis disclosure before we get started uh, in response to COVID-19, PSP is offering virtual fitness to Canadian Armed Force members. By using social media platform, the virtual fitness class tailored to Canadian Armed Force personnel become accessible to all. Participants who are not Canadian Armed Force members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and physical fitness levels are unknown. And it is entirely up to each individual to assess their ability to participate in this class. Since it is preferable to consult your physician before beginning any exercise program, we invite all participants who are not Canadian Armed Force members to consult the Get Active Questionnaire to the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document. If you experience any pain or difficulty during the exercise presented in this video, it is recommended that you stop and consult a healthcare provider. If a CAF member sustain any injury during this video, please remember to fill out the CF-98. Okay, that's the disclaimer. So three blocks. Oh, great, Jenna, if you can put the uh, links and disclaimer into the comment section, that will be wonderful, thank you. Uh, three blocks of exercise, so we have uh, low body, upper body, and a core. The first section is a squat, lateral lunge, and a single leg deadlift. So, I don't know how far you can see from the ground. So, first one is a squat. So, simple, simple squat. So, without the weight, and then just do the squat itself. Or you can add the weight, like back, back, or weight. And then doing the squat. Like so. So that's the option. So this first block is 60 seconds of work. So it's a quite long enough if you're going for the good tempo, about like 20 to 25 squats that you can do. And also you have 20 seconds rest, so you have enough rest as well. Uh, second next is the lateral lunges, so side lunges. Hmm. This one have a lot of ceiling, but oh god. There you go. Okay. So left heel lunges, side lunges. So you step to the side and come back in. Switch to the other side, step to the side and come back. So when you go sideways, make sure you're not leaning forward too far forward. Try to keep it up and nice and upright. Um, toes and knees are forward. Your knees are not going outside or inside. Make sure toes and knees going for the same direction. Push your hips back and come back in. So make sure you're push your hips back. You're not leaning forward, keep it upright, push it back, and come back and switch to the other side. With or without the weight, that's your option. And third exercise is single leg deadlift. So 
know that one. Basically, movement wise, your one leg balance, single leg dead left, and come back. So make sure your head to toe nice and one line, nice and long, hinge from hip and lean forward. With the weight, same thing. So nice and so do five and one side and switch to the five. So continue through the movement. So that's the first block. Second block is upper body exercise. It's gonna be wide and low push up. I do not know. Let's see. If I can change the angle. Nope. My phone will tip over, but. So wide and narrow push up. So you would do wide, wider than shoulder, push up, and narrow, narrow push up. So option is, you can do it from your knee, wide, and narrow, and wide, and narrow. Or you can do it from your toe, wide, and narrow. So both of them, try to keep your elbow tucked in. Make sure your elbow is not winging too far out. So that's the first exercise. Second one is tricep dip. Or if you don't have access to a chair right close to you, then you can do um, a floor tricep dip, the crab tricep dip. So your hands, your feet straight harder, bend easier up, thank you. And then you bend your elbow, go down and come back up. Go down and up. So if that's easy, extend your leg, go down, whoops. And up, down, and up, like so. Uh, if you don't have access to your chair, you can do floor, crab, um, dip. So your finger towards yourself, lift your hips up, bend your elbow, tuck your elbow, and make sure your elbows don't go away from you. Keep your elbow in. From here, you bend your elbow, go down, and up, down, and up. So that's the second one. Third one is isometric row. So you need a towel for this one. You can use a long towel, you can use a short towel, as long as you can reach the towel in the hand. So, so key thing is to towel around your foot. Um, I don't know, you can see like so. Make sure you're sitting nice and upright. Make sure your back is not rounded. Nice and tall, nice and upright from here without your elbow or body moving, thinking about you pulling your shoulder back and pull the towel towards your shoulder. So your arm is not moving, but it's thinking about pull back and pull, pull, pull for 10 seconds. So pull the towel, one, two, three, and two, 10, and relax two seconds, and then repeat it again. So when you're pulling your towel back, make sure your shoulder is not going up, keep your shoulder down, squeeze between your shoulder blades, Thinking about you moving your arm before you move your arm. That's the movement that you want to create. So hold isometric for 10 seconds and rest two seconds and it continues through for 60 seconds. Now 45 seconds, sorry. So second block is 45 seconds work, 15 seconds work. Uh, rest, sorry. 45, 15. And third block is a core section. You're going to do side plank. So your elbow, elbow down, shoulder. Uh, elbow right below your shoulder, from your toes, or from your foot to the side plank, or from your knee, side plank. If you do from your knee, make sure your knee and the hip and shoulder is all nice and one line, like so, plank. Or you can do hands, same thing, hands right below your shoulder, like so, side plank, or side plank from your knee, like so. So one side, 30 seconds. Second core exercise is a plank chest tap. So from your elbow or from your head, and then you're going to do the chest tap. So from here, you're going to the chest tap, chest tap, chest tap. Or elbow, same thing, chest tap, whoops, chest tap, chest tap. If you're getting tired doing chest tap, just to hold the plank for 30 seconds. And last core exercise is at the side of the side plank. So you did the left side and then do the right side. And the core section is only 30 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. And then all of them, you will do three sets. Okay. Oh, thank you, Jenna. Putting the, the 
description in there, uh, disclaimer in there. Um, if you have any question, concern, please leave, leave, leave it in the comment. And hopefully I can address it during the exercise program. All right, so let's get start with the warm up. So if you don't have a towel or chair, grab some, find it something in your house or find a spot that you can do the exercise. All right, let's start with the leg swing. So find a balance and swing your leg. In Manitoba, this was, it was raining this morning and now it's not, now it's a good weather. Switch to the other side. Now, inside and out, side and side. Good. Switch the other leg. Now, going to do the knee hug, so hug your knee, come back down, hug your knee, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Good. So this time, quads and stretch. So grab the other side of the leg, down, okay, up, down, up, down. Down. Up. Down. One more. Good. So now back to the high knee. So this time you just lift your knee up, up. Good. Good. This time was back kick. So kick. sweep so one leg forward sweep your leg and come back so stretch your, your hamstring nice and upright and like nice and straight for your upper body walk take a step switch the leg and switch the leg sweep two more So you start with the big circle, whichever the direction you want to go, and the other way. All right, now close, so hug, and open up your chest. Hug, open up your chest, close, and open. Close, open, close, open, close, open. Two more. Last one. Perfect. So this time go up and down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then go up and then side and come back in middle and come back down. One more. Up, side, come back. And down. Two more. Up. Side. Come back. And down. Last one. Up. Side. And come back. And come back. So now going to do the inchworm and thoracic rotation. So you're going, I don't know how far you can see. So go down to the ground. Bend your knee if you need to. And go up to the plank position. From here, you step one leg forward. And rotate towards the side that your your legs are forward, and come back in, back to the plank position, move back to the standing, oh no, go down, and then out to the plank position, switch the leg, other leg forward, rotate, come back, back to plank, and move back. Two more, go down. To the plank, step, and side rotation, and come back, 
Back to the plank. Move back. And last one. Touch the ground. Reach up to the plank. And one leg forward. Rotate. Come back. Back to the plank. And come back. To the standing. What do I forget? Um, oh, three more things. Uh, squat to uh, squat to stand. So reach to your toe. If you can touch your toe, great. If you can, touch your shin and down to the squat. Whoops. And come back to the straight leg. Come back to standing. So reach to your toe or shin from here. Bend your knee and squat down. And extend your knee. And standing. Three more. Reach to your toe. Squat down. Extend your knee. And standing. Last two. Reach your toe. Go down. And come back up. And up. Last one. So, squat. Up. And up. And hip abduction. So step to the side. Stretch your abductor. So go down. And come back up. So to the other side. So side. Side lunge or adductor stretch and come back. Go down as low as you can and come back. Switch to the other side and come back and squat down and come back inside. Come back last two and come back last one and back. Good. So now you can stretch. You can, if you need more stretches, please do. If you need to grab some water, please do. Now is the time. All right. So, um, that will be the good spot. I'm going to set the timer. I don't need that this time, so I'll put that one aside. All right. So, first one is one. So, 60 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. So hopefully, and then you will do three sets, so three sets of three exercise. There is enough rest, so if the first set is getting easy, uh, relatively easy to do, I will suggest you to add some weight and make it a little bit tougher. All right, get ready. So first one, squat, lateral lunge, and a single leg deadlift. Three, two, one, and go. So regular squat. If you don't have any weight, or if you don't want to use the weight to start with, body weight squat is perfectly fine. As long as you're not leaning forward, make sure you push your hips back, knees stay behind your toe, and keep squatting. Since it's a 60 seconds, it's a relatively long enough squat. So if you have weight, use your weight. Challenge yourself. How low you will go is your option. If how low is good for you, that's perfectly fine. If you feel comfortable going lower, please try to go low. Nice and engage core. 20 seconds. Keep moving. Last 10. Lunge, go side, come back, other side, and come back. Oh, you can see it. All right. With or without the weight, three, two, one, and go. So side lunge, and come back. And side lunge, come back. So when you go side lunges, make sure toes and knees are together. Make sure knees don't go inside or outside. Try to line together with your toe. When you go down low, push your hips back and push back in. So side, come back in, side and push and come back. If you have weight, hold your weight in the middle like so. Oh, this one's not good. Waistband is 
in my way <laughs> if you tried to go low. Like so, you can use a backpack. If you have a kettlebell, you can hold the middle and like so. Hold three, two, one, and a rest. Good. Then last one is single leg deadlift. So do five in one leg and switch to the other side in five and come back to the first. Three, two, one. And go. All right, hopefully I have a good handle. <laughs> so single leg. So make sure it's nice and aligned. Make sure your hip is not rotating to the side. Even though it's a lower body work, make sure your upper body is not rounding. Keep your shoulder blades in nice and upright upper body. Engage your core and keep your balance. Open up your toes. Make sure your weights are not on your big toe, or it's not only big toe. Make sure it's spread your toes. Keep going. Ten more seconds. And 
switch to the other leg. Make sure your hip, when you go down low, make sure your hip is not open to the side. Make sure your hip is parallel to the ground and come back in. Nice and balanced and come back. Make sure you focus on your standing hip. <laughs> to push yourself, come back to the middle. Five, four, three, two, one. And a rest. Nice work. Two sets done. One more. Ooh, back to squat. I need to wait. One more set. And we have a rest. Two minutes rest. Even without the weight, I'm getting tired with the lateral lunges. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. One more. Single leg to left. Almost there. Whew. All right. Nice and upright, nice and straight, nice and control. So do five in one side, switch to the other side, and keep going. Great. With the backpack, I don't like it's gonna touch the ground a little bit early. It's a little bit. Like saving grace for me. If it is a regular kettlebell dumbbell, I am, my arms are floating in the hair, so. wide and 
now a little push up and tricep dip if you have um if chair is too much to go down low then you can use a counter you can use anything that you can put your arm on basically and then towel row make sure you have a nice and you can use a band but a band's gonna move your arm so if there's a really hard intensity maybe so what will be the good if chair is not doable for you option will be like at the table do tricep extension so focusing on moving from your elbow and push yourself up so that will be the option so push up tricep dip and isometric row so roll hold 10 seconds in the last two seconds 10 seconds the last two seconds all right okay let's get ready and sway all right Timer ready. So 45 seconds, 50 seconds rest. Three sets. Get ready. You have enough rest. Get ready. Three, two, one, and go. Push ups. So wide. Hopefully you can see. <laughs> now, I think I can go that way. So you can go wide. And go narrow. Move it into the close one. And wide. And now, <laughs> my arm is so from yesterday's workout from Shannon's. What is it? 15 seconds, a little bit more to go. Come back into the close. Keep your core tight. Make sure you're not sinking down from your back. Keep your attack, your core in. Do close. Three, two, one, and rest. All right. struggle. <laughs> chair is a little bit too small. Bench is a little bit wide enough, but chair is like really tight. But key is keep your elbow in. Make sure elbows don't go outside. Keep your elbow in, close to you, and sit down and come back up. Bend from elbow and come back. Oh, my left and right. <laughs> so chair is not in your close to steady reaching distance. You can do the same thing on the floor, from the crab, bend your elbow, come back up, bend your elbow, and come back. Same thing, extend your leg harder. If dip is not a favorite thing to do, you can do the band tricep extension for your tricep. Three, two, one, and rest. Third one. Isometric row. So put your towel on your foot. Sit nice and tall, nice and upright. Shoulder down and pull the towel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. Do it again. So set your shoulder back and then squeeze your elbow, thinking like you're actually doing the row. Pull, 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 pull. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And last. Make your shoulders not shrug. Keep your shoulder down. One more. So set your shoulder and pull. Pull, 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 pull. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. That's the one set. Oh, my arms are jello. Okay, let's go back to the push up. Get ready. All right, five, four, three, two, one, and go. Light and mellow push ups. If your arms are jello, can't do it anymore, do just do the one, so like a regular distance push up. Or, if you want, you can hold your plank. Go high plank, low plank, high plank. Low plank. Something to do with your arm. Something to do with your upper body. I go. Nice and good forward. Shoulder down. How much time? 10 more seconds. Almost there. Keep going. Two 
great. Three, two, one. And rest. Whew. There. Grab your chair. Or get to the chair. Or get down to the ground. Whichever the option for you. Oh. All right. Make sure your elbows don't go outside. Your shoulder is not meant to go this way. So keep your elbow in. Tuck your elbow in. Go down the street. And come back up. I feel my left and right is different strength. But I'm trying to push my left and right equally. Oh. Thirty seconds. 
minute of work, 10 seconds rest. So, let me reset. So 30 seconds in one side of the side plank, and doing the front plank or front plank chest tap. If you don't want to do chest tap, you can do leg lift, anything front plank basically. And the front plank, and then go to the other side of the side plank. Nice work. Alright, so, yes, 30 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, 3 sets. Alright, so some water, and last one. I will finish with the plank, that's not that bad way to finish the exercise. So, get ready, side plank. Shaky hand. 
But it's gonna get shaky soon. There you go. No, oh, halfway done. Halfway done. Do not give up. Hold it there. Get your last 10 seconds. Keep it there. Keep it there. Five, four, three, two, one. And from play. Oh, rest. Sorry. Rest. And then go from play. So chest tap. Front plank, hold, leg lift, anything you want. Ready, and go. So nice and engaged quads, glutes, core, shoulder down, make sure shoulder is not round. Make sure back is not sinking in. Keep that tension in everywhere in your body. And if you can, lift your hand to touch the shoulder without losing or twisting your body. Keep that steady. Stable core. Five, four, three, two, one, and the rest. Last one. Last plank. And then we're done. And then we're stretching. Get ready, set, and go. My right side is not as good as my left side. Oh. Keep the hips up, nice and tight core. Shoulder down. It's like mantra, going through everything, head to toe, head to toe, scan through. Oh my, shake your hand, almost there, five, no, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Good job, nice work, woohoo. Tap to your shoulder, it's like, good job myself, you saw by the room. All right, you can... Stand and walk around, or if you want to stay on the ground, you can stay on the ground. So keep moving, keep breathing. Good job, nice work. I feel sweaty. I don't want anything to do with the upper body and just start sweating so much. All right, nice work. Good job. Let's get. Start with that. Take a big breath in. And out. Take a big breath in. And out. And breathe in. And out. Take a big breath in. And out. More sense to have seating vision up and go sideways. And come back in the middle and relax. And go up and reach up, sorry, and then go sideways and come back middle and come back. And let's do shoulder stretches. So cross over. Oh, great. Good job, everyone. Great work. Yeah, it's Thursday, almost there for the weekend. I don't know, everyone have a feeling of weekend, but. And switch to the other side for the shoulder. Whew. Well, I'm glad I can have a class. I was like technical difficulty, like, oh, am I not able to teach the class? But end up being okay. Well, hopefully it's okay. <laughs> and tricep stretch through your arms, bend one hand on your elbow. Nice and tall, nice and upright, and stretch your tricep. We're a little bit pushing time, but thank you for staying for the class and stay, uh, coming to the class as well. I forget to do an introduction in the beginning. My name is Yuko. I'm from CFP Shiloh in Manitoba. If you come from a different base and switch to the other side, please leave it in comment as well. So today was total body circuit. And next week, this time will be force some kind of force focused circuit as well. Good, let your hand go. So, chest stretch, so you're on the arms behind and push it back with chest stretch. If that's comfortable for you, you can stay like so. If you feel it's okay with that stretch, then add a little bit of doctor stretch, so keep your feet away.
wide. Hands back, knee forward, and stretch. So you're doing the abductor stretch same time. Your chest stretch and shoulder stretch. But if it is too much for your shoulder, come back and just do the regular chest stretch. I like doing two stretches at the same time sometimes. It makes life easier. That's a really high heart rate. Good job. Probably when you do push-ups in an upper body, if your heart rate is going that high. And relax your arm. Let's do lower body stretches. Standing or floor. Let's go down floor. It may be easier. Okay. So quad stretch. Side laying. Push your knee back and stretch your quads. Nice and good quad stretch. And switch to the other side. Lengthen your hip flexor and the quads. Hold the stretch for 20 to 30 seconds. If you want to hold it longer, please do hold it longer. Longer the better. And make sure it's not painful though. It's a stretch. Not the pain. And relax. And, or oh, hopefully, hamstring stretch. So your head down and grab behind your, your knee. Since you have a towel, if you want. Like so. And you can bring it a little bit far. Same thing, make sure you're stretching behind your knee, behind the quad. And switch to the other leg. Ooh, ooh. A little bit tightening the wall space. Let go. Switch to the other side. Hopefully, I have enough space. Need to just and to the side. Oh, and then to the ground. Oh. And slowly come back. Switch to the other side of the leg. So switch the leg. Shift your weight to the one side of the leg. Try to heel down and stretch the back of your head or back of your foot. And, and slowly cut back out. Whew, nice work. Good job, everyone. Well, thank you for coming for the class. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the class. Uh, my name is Yuko. I'm from CFP Shiloh. If you have any question, concern, comment, recommendation, anything, please leave it in the comment section.
and we will apply it to you the ne next time, next class, yes. Well, thank you for coming. Hopefully you have a great afternoon, Thursday afternoon, and great Friday tomorrow. Well, have a good day.